I understand that uh, this arrangement, uh, having passes for media covering an event, uh, or rather registering uh, the presence of uh, taking the attendance of uh, media, may be uh, a new thing or something which never been done anywhere else in the world before. But please, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this arrangement is actually with your best interest at our heart. Because as what Toramwe has said just now, based on our previous experience, uh, be it uh, during the Bursa 3 or Bursa 2, or all the, just name any uh, incidents of public rally or a big gathering, if not uh, big or glaring, there would have been some uh, minor incidences involving either the police and the press and definitely between the police and the participants of the uh, assembly or rally which uh, for this time around we want to make it uh, the best or rather the most conducive uh, operation for everybody for us to be able to do our job and for you too to be able to to do your job and at the same time at best for the uh, intended assembly or rally, also to be held in a very peaceful manner as in the spirit of the uh, Peaceful Assembly Act 2012. Therefore, we thought of, by having these uh, passes for the media, it will assist us in identifying you and then to facilitate your requirement to the best that suits our operation and at the same time trying to keep everybody safe. Therefore, we also uh, created for the first time ever, I think, in Royal Malaysia Police history, marshal of from the police to facilitate the media. So this marshal is not to dictate or to control you, but as I've said, to facilitate you. You see, I, I, I'll give some uh, scenarios maybe, like during an operation, and especially if, turn, uh, if things turn bad. You would definitely want to be in the best place possible to get your shots. But there are times that you will be caught in a crossfire. So hopefully, with this marshal around, they will marshal you to places which will best suit your requirement, but at the same time, will ensure your safety, and also at the same time, will ensure that our police operative that needs to take whatever action will be able to carry out their responsibilities too. So that's why the arrangement that we made is that on the day of, of this operation, so this will be our trial case. If it works, and if it works but with some modifications, we will do it for later on so that hopefully as we progress, we can come up with the best situation for everybody. So on the day of the operation, when, when you report at the uh, field media center, the field media center actually is just an extension of the police media center, which is normally, uh, we have it at the, either in the contingent headquarters or at the district headquarters, with the facilities, equipment that will uh, assist you in after covering a media conference, to immediately either send your reports or whatever. We will try to also have the same facilities that what we, we should have in the media center in the contingent headquarters at the field media center. We will also have uh, media conference facilities at the field media center. So as I said, uh, if this thing really works and if it is uh, found to be really practical, then it will be the 
SOP later on for every operation. And, and it might not just be for uh, assembly. We will try to make it also like uh, during disaster, for instance, or any other major operations involving police. And we know that the media presence is, will be required. We will set up so that it will be very proper, it will be very organized, and it will be uh, well managed. And the final word is so that it will be very conducive for everybody. Now, upon reporting at the media center, then we will issue you the passes for the day. As, as I said, uh, as I see that uh, most of you are already putting on the passes. And if you can see, these passes are very, very simple. Uh, nothing, uh, safety features or anything like that. It is very simple, as I said, because it is just for the purpose of identifying you, knowing that you are in our group. Uh, we take another example, like if you go on a walkabout tour, so the tour leader will have a, a group of people following him, but as you walk along, there might be chances that people who didn't pay to be in that group, walk about tour, also jump into the, uh, into the group. But with these passes, definitely the tour leader will know that hey, you are not in my group, you shouldn't be here. I'm explaining all these uh, tourist spots and you know all that, only for my paying guests or paying customers. So in Ipun, it's just the same spirit. Like, I mean, in the sense that we know that you are with us. And then our marshal will, will be the one who has been appointed, who knows who within that operation area, maybe we have sectors or zone within one big operation area. So the zone commanders and the sector commanders, they know who these marshals are. And these marshals are all our policemen actually. On top of their normal police uniform, they will also be wearing a vest with the police media uh, words at the back. So we know when they come, maybe certain places during an operation, there will be certain places that we will uh, consider that as a, a danger zone. Uh, no uh, OB like out of bound. Yeah? But hopefully with this marshal, and the marshal will introduce either you as a group to the zone commander that he needs to bring this uh, media group to be in this area just to capture some uh, photos or whatever. Then once you are done, he will take you out of that danger area. But if it is too dangerous, then it will not be allowed. So. Areas that we consider as danger or uh, out of bound during an operation will not be an area that will have to be declared and gazetted as, as per the requirement of the law. It is ad hoc as per at that time. So, you, that's why you might sometimes ask, why can't I be here? But because we take it, or rather we assess that at that time, that particular place is dangerous for non uh, operative to be in that area. So I hope uh, this arrangement does not really cause any uh, confusion or very big question mark as to why uh, it's been introduced or why we want to implement this. As I said, no hidden agenda at all. It's just best interest at heart for you and for us also. So roughly, I think uh, I've uh, explained the uh, functions of the Field Media Center and also our marshal. And if at certain times, if you think that you need to go somewhere within that operations area, you can just tell the media relation officer. At, at, at any time, there will be a media relation officer based at the uh, field media center. If you need to move around, then he will call for a marshal. Okay, there are a group of now 10 or 15 of you. 
maybe for a group of more than 10 or 15, he might even have to put in two or three marshals. Not to hurt you as a shepherd, but to battle yes between you and the zone commanders or the sector commanders. You might, uh, during the trip, I would say it's a trip uh, from the media center going to various points in the operations area. If during the trip, you feel that you just want to go astray from the main group, well, we cannot stop you actually, but then your safety or your security at that time will be beyond our control. As long as you are with us, the marshal will know if he see or if he receive orders from the operation commander to one of the other operatives, he will be monitoring. So any instructions given, he will have a clue or a cue that something might happen now in which place. Then he will not usher you to that place. Or he might even be very honest to tell you now we can go to that place because there might be something happening after this. Either police will be taking action or among the participants, they want to create something. So it will be dangerous for you to be there. So the best for you to be around here, but with the technology and the, uh, I would say, uh, top of the range uh, equipment that you have, you can zoom from anywhere, I think, as long as your line of sight is clear, uh, no hindrance, uh, not between trees or having any buildings in the middle. I'm very sure you all, uh, your equipment are definitely 100 or 1,000 times better than our police equipment. Our last purchase was 1948. So, <laughs> so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's what I mean. So this is the sort of thing that uh, what we thought uh, might or could happen. So during the whole operation, at the moment, I think we have already prepared about uh, 50 marshals to cater for your needs at the operation area. So once either the operation is over, or once you think that you, you have covered enough, you have had enough, then you just surrender your pass back to the media center, then life goes on. <laughs> so I hope, uh, well, I, I, do, I, I, I don't mind uh, if, if you do have any more clarification to the best that I can. I will try to uh, explain further if need be. But I think I'm very sure that uh, so far you've already understood our intention in having this arrangement. Yeah, we'll okay, we'll then, then uh, uh, I will touch a bit further, or, or rather Toramli will do that, is it? Uh, we also will uh, humbly urge for your kind cooperation in this sort of uh, scenario or in this sort of uh, activity, event. Sometimes uh, there, there are teams or dress code for participants. Therefore, we kindly urge you so that you refrain from being also in the same. Otherwise, then it will be like a, a confusion there, whether you are a party of the participant, but having a pass for the media from the police. Then that will be very confusing for our operatives for our ground personnel. So on that, I think that is very clear. Please, please refrain from that. For instance, like we see, or sorry, like uh, during Bersih 3, the team was yellow. So hopefully there were no uh, uh, media, media representatives who were in yellow. And also not just in yellow, but with the word Bersih 3 also, very boldly printed on the front and the back. So we hope, because we understand you, are, if you need to be in that group, 
then please don't report to us don't take the pass if you something like if you are doing undercover job lah, that you need to be among the group of the participants of the rally or the uh, assembly then because you cannot be both yeah it will be very confusing uh, then then i won't be surprised if there will be uh, an incident of a lot of question and answers uh, then mula our our personnel might even want to grab your pass that you did say you got no bloody right to be putting on this pass if you are a member of the particip participant of the uh, rally then very uh, very unpleasant incident which we do not want so please i on that score i really uh, urge you all to to refrain from that and of course the other things are as in the requirement of the uh, peaceful assembly act even participants of the assembly are not allowed to carry any arms or any weapons so likewise even if you are a, a, a licensed uh, gun owner or whatever weapons but when you are covering this uh, event please do not carry this weapon with you because then also another confusion might arise you might be mistaken for a hostile uh, person as as what we expect from the participants then uh, especially on the uh, being armed or carrying any weapons so i would uh, also advise uh, members of the media to refrain from uh, carrying any weapons please then the rest of it i think uh, i will let uh, tuan uh, ramli to further continue on his uh, explanation so for the for the moment i'm uh, is there anything that you would like to ask me regarding as per the media center and also the marshals roles and function yes sir hello how many marshals uh, we at the moment we've already allocated 50 personnel anything again because i do not know on that day what is the team of the uh, rally so i i can't advise you at the moment but if you know that on that day the team for the rally will be a for instance then anything else other than a is okay so can you find some one just one color which does not match any of those colors <laughs> then you'll be very safe uh, so i'm not a fortune teller so i cannot expect anything <laughs> but <laughs> well uh, uh, i rather not comment on that uh, maybe there will be an official uh, uh, media conference to this effect later on by my bosses so i would rather leave it to the bosses to do that yeah uh, i would not speculate on what will happen on that day because that is not uh, what we are supposed to this session is not for that This session is just to explain on the why we, we suddenly have this uh, passes and then why we are having our police marshals for the media and why setting up of the field media center and also the media relations. I thought I uh, I was quite clear in the sense that I said we do not want to control or dictate you. That was I think the I got no script here but I quite remember very clearly that that was the two words i mentioned that we do not want to control or dictate you we want to facilitate you to the extent that if you need to go somewhere just mention it to the media relation officer who is in the media center then if it is safe it is possible to do that we will do that we will call upon our marshals now the, this group how many of you please take them to this place where you want to go but along the line along the way if at that time it becomes dangerous then we have to cease okay. the facility but never never yeah. the slightest intention of controlling or to dictate your movement or whatever so, uh, okay. the provision of the police as it is there is no provision that's why that's why we are not this is not a legal uh, legal requirement it is just a 
a reciprocal uh, sort of uh, arrangement between you or between us and hopefully with you. So that, as I said, as much as we want to facilitate you with your best interest at heart, at the moment, this is the arrangement that we thought is the best that we can think of. Then, if you do not want to be party of this arrangement, there's no offence. And your presence there, as an accredited uh, media practitioner, <coughs> is allowed by law. And you have the right to be there. Definitely, yes. We won't catch out as long as you don't catch out their business. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, ladies, please. I'm talking as a policeman. So when a policeman is working, to him, his business is first. That is security and safety. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, as I said, it is a public area. But if at that time, that area deemed to be dangerous with your presence, it will be a danger to you. Then definitely he will have to stop you. If you talk about general public space as on the road where everybody else is also walking on that road, then by all means, join them. But if you see that it is a place which has been uh, barred from the rest of all the people, then you might even be barred also from that place. At that time, even if you have our pass, you will also be banned. That's why I say, unless the marshal is there, and the marshal has been given, has got the permission from the operations commander to bring the media even to that danger area, but within certain space, for instance, maybe, then you might be able to be, uh, be allowed to be there. Well, we talk about complaints. There are many... Uh, categories or rather means of complaining. If you are talking about a formal complaint to lodge a police report, or you might even complain to the operations commander, the most senior officer who is at the scene. These are all complaints which will be taken into account, will be accepted. The only thing is, if you feel that by just a, a mere lip service is not enough, then you might formalize, you might want to formalize your complaint, reduce into writing. You can do so. You can even write, scribble it on a piece of paper, address to the OCPD or to the most senior police officer in charge at this place, at this time, on this date. I, whoever you are, I would like to lodge a complaint to say that these things happen. Photostat it, keep one copy and hand over that one copy to the whoever, the officer that you intend to hand it over to. It's okay. It is still a complaint. And so therefore, that media center, the film media center, will also act like our Balai Bagra. Just like our forward base, for instance. It will be just like a, a big base, a pondok police. Because it will be men and with the facilities. That's what we are trying to advise. If you think that there is specific places that you want to be for you to get your best shot, the best angle, let him know. Or inform the uh, media relation officer that you need to go to that place. That will be the best spot for you to, for your shot. And if it's at that time, if he feels that it is okay for you to go there, then he will appoint the marshal to lead you to that place. This is the whole spirit of the, uh, the arrangement. To make it easier and to make it, uh, I would say, uh, mutually agreeable and on a compromised ground where the two ends can meet, then why not? Basically, I would say yes. But if things really turn very ugly, then I think you and me, we are in the same job. Occupational hazard is always there. Can. So then we talk about Tuan Allah, <laughs> that I can help. 
But basically, yes, we will try to make sure that your safety, your security is at the heart of the uh, operation. Mm. 